I think the global citizen of 2021 should be Nelson Mandela. His things about Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela was born in 1918 in a small South African tribe. And his father was the tribal leader of that tribe. At the age of seven, Nelson began his British education and his teacher gave him the name Nelson. When Nelson's father passed away, he got sent to another tribe. Um, and the person that was looking after him sent Nelson to the best schools to get the best education possible. After Nelson was at college for a while, he ran away from, from it and went to Johannesburg to run away from a prearranged marriage. Um, it was 1941, and it was the first time Nelson, like, realised how racist people were back then. And he, like, wanted to make a change about it. And he just didn't understand why he didn't have a say and why it was like that. Um, Nelson became, began to start an African movement to try to become president when he was fairly young. And at that time, he married his first wife, Evelyn. In 1952, they um, announced that they were doing the movement of unjust laws. And Nelson was a part of that movement, well, a big part of that movement. The um, government of South Africa wasn't having any of it. He conf confined Nelson to just Johannesburg and didn't let him attend any meetings or anything because he didn't want Nelson to get a step up because he was scared of him pretty much. In 1956, Nelson and his group got arrested for supposed treason, but the government was just having enough with them trying to make a change and get black people a say in everything pretty much. Nelson was like so committed to his job and like government and that and didn't want to stop and his wife actually left him because he spent so much time doing all of that stuff and she was just getting over him not being around as much so she left him but he was still committed to making a difference for people. When Nelson was waiting four years for his trial he met another lady called Madiki Zella that became his second wife. In 1962, the African South African government outlawed the um, Nelson Mandela's movement. So he went underground and started a new movement. Since Nelson was in hiding, he couldn't get as much following as he wanted, but people were still following him. And he went back to South Africa and he got arrested for five years. As he was in the um, prison, the government accused him of sabotage. Um, and on trial, he did refused to defend himself. His trial didn't go so well. He um, had to go to Robben Island prison and he got sentenced for a life sentence. When he was in prison, people didn't forget about him. He was still a big symbol for the movement. And everyone was trying to make the government free him. But it just wasn't happening until the government was getting like badgered and he folded under pressure. And he got released in 1990. At the age of 71, Nelson Mandela was named the head of the ANC. In 1993, he earned the Nobel Peace Prize. Too. At the age of 75, Nelson Mandela was elected the president of South Africa by a landslide. When he became the president, he really moved the world because no one really thought it was going to happen. And this black leadership really changed everyone's perspective on things and 
really made everyone understand black people and where they came from and like how they were mistreated and all that and nelson was a really good politician and he really knew when to stop and when to go and like what was fair and what was not fair so he really helped a lot of people and that's why i think nelson should be the global citizen of the year thank you